Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a little tip, a little trick, a little secret. If you own a bladder pool, especially if your liner is white on top and blue on the bottom, but if you own a bladder pool and that's just a pool that doesn't have hard walls, if it's put together with a frame, a metal frame, um, down here on your liner, there is a little section where your liner is actually sewn together. Okay? And right here, you see that? That is the seam for your liner. <clears throat> but, see all that debris in there? No matter how much you clean your pool, there's going to be debris in this seam. If you start having a cloudy pool, or you start having algae, but you don't see any obvious algae in your pool, this is your problem. So, go through your pool once a week with your foot, whatever. Pull this up. You can literally just use your foot. To just get that off there. Real simple. Real simple. Make sure you... Pat it back down. Don't do it rough or anything like that. You're not trying to win any awards for toughest feet. But that is a little tip because you will start seeing cloudy water closer to the end of summer. You'll start seeing algae in your pool. But as you can see, my water is crystal clear. Crystal clear. But if I don't go around and clean that, then I'm going to start getting problems with my water. So you need to make sure that you clean that seam in your liner. Now, like I said, if you own a big pool, those are one continuous piece of material. But these pools like this, <coughs> they are put together in two pieces. Actually, three pieces because if you look, let me get back over here. If you look, you have a seam here. And then you have a seam here. There's a couple of these in your pool, so you wanna always make sure you go through and clean these. And then you have your seam in the bottom. And this is very important. Like you need to make sure you take care of these seams because if you don't, you're gonna have issues with your pool later on. And you always wanna make sure when you go around your pool and you're cleaning, to clean around all these seams, clean around all of your connections, Clean around the connection with your, if you have a skimmer like I do, and then I always go back here. As you can see, I'm getting ready to do a full clean on my pool, but I talked about in my other videos about the water line. This is your water line, and a scrub daddy or a magic eraser. <laughs> see, all this stuff comes off. This isn't stuck on here, but if you come in here a lot of times with just a regular washcloth we'll get this off but if it gets stuck on and you can't get it off just grab a magic eraser or a scrub daddy and it will take care of that also another little tip i have to keep your water circulating well is most of these this came on an intex pool this does not come with my coleman pool coleman cool pool just came with a grate that screwed on but these have an eye on them and you can adjust the flow of your water. So I keep mine running in the opposite direction of my skimmer. And what that does is it circulates the water around the pool. Then you don't have to grab your vacuum out every time you want to clean your pool. It keeps you from having to vacuum. You can just grab your dip net. Everything will come together in the center and you can dip it all out and not have to drag out a vacuum every time you want to clean your pool. So that's just a couple little tips I thought I would throw in today. I hope this helps somebody, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Happy swimming.